Hey y'all, Billy Thomas here, and we're going to be looking at installing the development version of SQL Server 2022. All right, let's get to work. I put the link to this particular download in the comments so that it's easy for you to get to. And when you load this page, you're going to come up and it's going to look just like this. We want to go down here and hit this guy right here, the development version, SQL Server 2022 developer. We'll hit download now. And when it's done downloading, it's going to be over here in your downloads and we'll run it. Now you have to allow changes to be made to your device. And do you want this? Yes, I do. Let's go. All right. Well, I asked me twice. Here we get a here we get a uh, option to do basic custom or download media we're going to do basic that should work fine for whatever you're doing and then when you get to this screen you hit install now you do have the option to put it in this folder or another one but there's no reason not to use this folder unless you've got something going on in your pc that requires that so we're going to hit install and now we just wait it is going to take probably five to ten minutes i have a pretty fast processor and computer so mine uh, you know and I may even fast forward this for you all but it's going to install and uh, when it's done we'll pick it up from there keep going come on let's do this let's do it yes we have a winner now, when you get here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you go ahead and install SSMS. So just click this button, SSMS. That's gonna take you to another download page, which is fine. Right here it is, download SSMS. So just click that. We'll give it a second to download. Oh, yay, and finally, it's got it. Uh, so now we can hit install. Now that it's downloaded, we can hit install. And do we want to make changes? Of course we do. We're trying to install. Hello. All right, now we wait again. There we go, setup complete. Okay, so now we should have SQL Server installed with SSMS also installed. Let's check it out. So I would just come down here in the little search bar and I would type in SSMS. And there it is, SQL Server Management Studio. If we click that, it should load, and we're going to make sure that we can actually connect to it. So this should be something that is just defaulted in for you. Just hit connect, and if all things are good, it comes in, and we are all set. Now, if you look in here for a database, you're not going to have any because this is a brand new installation. So. You know, we can just real quick see if we can create a database, make sure everything looks to be working correctly here, and looks good. Hey, so stay tuned. There's going to be videos coming out that will show you how to attach databases, how to turn on integration services so you can actually import and export data. So stay tuned. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe to my channel, and have a great day. And remember, it's all joy because working with data should make you smile.